Okay, Lexis, I'm going to go ahead and work through this uh, problem that you sent me. Okay, so it says to solve by substitution. All right, so first thing, where my tools are. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on getting the one of the variables by itself. And since that X right there, since that, let me see if I can find my tools, there they are. Since that X right there has a coefficient of one, that would be the easiest variable to, to get by itself. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just subtract 11Y from both sides. So that first equation becomes X equals negative 11Y plus 29. See what I did there? I just subtracted the 11y from both sides to get that x by itself. Okay, let me just bring this other equation along as is. So there's the other equation. All right, now if we're solving by substitution, if we're going to do it this way, here's the idea. This x and this x should be the same at the point of intersection. And x and 11y plus 29 are interchangeable. The equal sign tells you that. They have the same value. So what we're going to do is substitute negative 11y plus 29 in for the x. Okay, So right there where the x used to be, that's where I'm going to put negative 11y plus 29. Now I'm going to keep the rest of the problem. That second equation was 2x plus 6y equal 10, but in place of x, I'm putting negative 11y plus 29. All right, now the rest of this is, is just distributing, you know, getting, getting that so that I know what the y would be. So I'm going to distribute 2, so that would be negative 22y plus 58 plus 6y equals 10. Combine like terms, that would be negative 16y. They're on the same side, so I'm just combining them, plus 58 equals 10. And see, I'm just going to continue that solution process. Now I'm going to take away 58. So I wind up with negative 16y equals negative 48. And then I've got to divide by negative 16 to get the y by itself. And I'll have that y equals 48 divided by 16 is 3. Negative divided by negative is positive. Okay, and then once you know the y coordinate, you can go back to this equation, to this equation, but I like to use this guy right here. So I'm going to go to him, x equals negative 11y plus 29. And right where the y is, right there, I know y is 3, so I'm going to substitute a 3 in. Okay, then negative 33 plus 29 would equal negative 4. So x was negative 4, y was 3. Now I used the, basically the top equation to get the other coordinate, so I'm just going to do a quick check by plugging it in. This is just the check plugging in that point into that second equation. And I'm checking that negative 8 plus 18 equals 10. Yes, it does. And I think I'll go ahead, since I plugged into a different form, the first equation was x, wait, I'll write it, was x plus 11y before I moved anything equals 29. So let me go back to the original and plug in the negative 4 for x and the 3 for y, and c. If that works, and it does, because negative 44 plus 33 equals 29, so it works there, so I know I'm right. Okay, So that process that we just did, let me squish this so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so that process right there is solving by substitution. Now sometimes one of the variables will already be on the side by itself, but if it's up to you, make sure you pick the variable that's that's easiest to isolate, easiest to get by itself. So because that had an understood one in front of it, that's why I picked the X in the first equation, okay?